We're approaching Christmas, so it seemed appropriate for something with a bit of glitz and sparkle. Keep watching. Yeah, welcome back. It's got a ukulele review day as ever. This is your summary video review. See the links below that will take you to the website where you get a lot more detail about this instrument. My thank yous running across the bottom of the screen there. These are people who've donated very kindly to help keep this site going because I don't take money from the brands, as I say every week. And you've also got a new option now down below this video as well. You'll see a button that says thanks. If you want to make a donation to help keep got a ukulele running, that would be much appreciated. And why not think about subscribing to this YouTube channel if you like these videos help me get that subscriber count up you know what to do the buttons down there that would be very helpful too okay so we're running into Christmas and as I say something a bit sparkly for you um, yeah sparkly Baz doesn't like bling does he this is the Carla sparkle it's a concert ukulele comes in four colors from Carla and it is really sparkly. There's a red one, there's a blue one, there's a pink one, and there's this one, this Stardust Gold or something it's called. And uh, no, I don't like blingy instruments and I don't think there's anything much more blingy than this. Um, but I've got to be impartial. I, I, I always try to point out where my comments are subjective and objective. Subjectively, I don't like instruments like this. Objectively, I understand why some people will see a need for this or a use for it in performance. It's certainly, you know, if you're a Elvis tribute or something like that, or you're playing, a, playing ABBA songs, it would suit. It is a laminate instrument, um, not a, pretty much a basic instrument actually. It's a, actually, it's very basic. This is laminate basswood, basswood on the top, and laminate mahogany back and sides. Uh, basswood is really cheap. It's the sort of thing you'll see on the cheapest um, entry level instruments. It's lime, linden wood, very, very cheap plywood. Um, don't know why they didn't go for all mahogany with this one. But as you can see, double bout concert shape, finished in this glitter on the top, back and sides, the neck, everywhere in fact is glittery. Um, we'll come on to that finish in a moment. The bridge is a very standard for Carla, tie bar style, walnut. Um, it's actually quite scruffy when I get up close to it, um, screwed in place. That saddle is made of new bone, straight topped. Yeah, pretty untidy, the uh, the bridge. The finish and decoration, obviously you don't need much more decoration when you've got all of this, but we do also have cream edge binding around the top and back, which I think actually works very well with the uh, with the finish. It, uh, if it was just all glitter, I think it'd look a bit odd. So I think that works really well. Disappointing though, and I know that glitter is kind of random, but there's lots of patches where it's a little bit uneven. The gloss too is kind of ripply across the surface, not really mirror finish. When you look at it this way, you can see it's kind of overdone here. So the finish is rather scruffy. The problem with that is because it's random, um, my eye gets drawn to these little bad finish points. You can't take your eyes off them once you've seen them. Inside, pretty standard notch curving, delicate braces, thin braces, not much to say about inside. The neck, I can't tell you how many pieces it is because it's covered in glitter uh, and gloss. Um, I suspect it's three. It's very typically Carla up here, broom handle round, 35 mil at the nut, 27 G2A. That's not my kind of neck, will suit some, not me. That's a, a subjective point, as I always say. The fingerboard is made of walnut too, and I don't like how it's a very much a different colour to the bridge, as you can see. So that bridge needs to be darker to match that. In fact, I think this really stands out and looks odd. Um, unfortunately, the fingerboard, I don't know whether I'm going to be able to show you this, but is really, really scruffy in places. Sort of gloopy mess around some of the fret ends. Um, the position dots painted, sort of stained over here and all different colors. It's really kind of lazy, actually. I don't like it at all. Um, yeah, sort of odd markings here. Uh, scruffy, edge bound in white, so there's no sharp fret ends. You get 19 of those, 14 to the body. Position dots at five, seven, 10, double 12th, and they're repeated on the sides. But as I say, those position dots are really rather scruffy too. Uh, it's scruffy there, scruffy here. Headstock, ubiquitous, Carla, crown-shaped headstock. Again, uh, on the edges, the glitter is not quite finished 
properly and your eye really gets drawn to it. Um, I think that logo is also lost against the gold, although it may look better on some of the other colours. A positive. The tuners um, seem to be upgraded from what I normally used to see on Carla's small white buttons. The metal, they're unbranded open gears, but the metal work on these is clearly uh, good quality. Um, no real complaints with those. Comes with a set of Aquila strings, what else? And nothing else bar tail strap button. I really think Carla's starting to get left behind. I mean, you really need to be including a gig bag. Um, other brands, Enya Flight, all that kind of stuff will include things like that. Carla don't. And the retail price on the Carla website, $129, translating to about $110 in the UK. So it's not a lot of money, but it's not a lot of uke, actually. Apart from all that glitter, this is a very basic, very basic laminate instrument. Um, Lindenwood, mm, yeah, very basic laminate instrument. But, okay, 110 quid. Um, I suppose it's all right, um, not a lot. As I say, the looks are not for me, um, but that's just me. Uh, if you're a performer and you're wanting to do a, an out there showy performance, um, or an open mic or something like that, or using a stage play, I can see why a glittery instrument like this has its place. And I'm not quite the old curmudgeon that people think I am. Um, I'm not at all. Um, it's just not for me. <laughs> it's just blingy. Anyway, we need to have a play of it. I think it's quite scruffy in the finishing. The core build is okay. I don't like that neck. The fingerboard is in a right state. The tuners are decent and the price isn't too bad. It's not heavy. 570 grams. Balances really well as well. Um, but we'll have a play. And again, is it going to be sort of glamour over tone? I think it probably will be, considering those specs. Incidentally, the setup on this is terrible. It's uh, about 3.7, 3.8 at the 12th, over the 12th, which is too high, so it should never have come to me in this state. Uh, volume, good. But then laminate instruments always do tend to have pretty decent volume. Sustain is average, very average. And then the tone of it, ukulele it plays it sounds like a ukulele but it's it's very it's not got a lot of character very um strings are terribly out of tune uh it's not got a lot of character to it the um and it's got that kind of uh, i say this before about a lot of laminate instruments a kind of echoey quality It kind of works as an instrument. Uh, I don't think there's a lot of life or character to the tone of this one, though. Um, if you have a performance need for something that looks like this, go for it. Um, I think it will certainly turn heads on a stage. If the sparkle doesn't really matter to you, there are far, far better instruments out there for this money from Flight, Snail, uh, Kai, Uma, Baton Rouge, people like that. 
because this is a very basic, um, uninspiring sounding uh, laminate concert ukulele, ultimately. It is all about the looks. Um, and I'm not a fan of instruments that put looks ahead of sound and tone. But I'm trying not to be too grumpy. Hey, it's Christmas. Um, yeah, there will be people who love the look of this. And I can understand why um, why it would work in a performance. But if you're wanting it to also work as a decent sounding instrument, I don't think this is your choice. And I'm really irritated by some of the finishing marks, the state of that neck. Um, it's quite scruffy really of the money so it doesn't do great on the score um, but it's not a howler. The Carla Sparkle series concert, this one in gold, available in other colours, $129 RRP. There we are, right, okay, we are nearly at Christmas. This is the 59th ukulele review, instrument review, product review of the year, so it's been pretty crazy. I am gonna have Christmas Eve off with the family, but I will try and sneak in one more review before New Year to make it 60 for the year. Um, thanks very much for your support over the years, and certainly to those people who donate, it's really appreciated, helps keep me going. Um, and if you like what you see, as I say, why not subscribe to the channel? I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas, no matter how you're celebrating it, or even if you're not celebrating it, I hope you have a wonderful time over the next week or two. And stay safe, everybody, and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.